Welcome back to the minivan. So I think I finally mastered the art of making a slow cooker deep dish pizza. It's time to share that information with the world. If you got a slow cooker that's similar to mine, the heating element is around the outside. There's nothing that heats up the bottom. So no matter what you do in here, you're not going to get a crispy bottom on your pizza. So I've come up with a two-step method. But before I show you that, I'm going to make up the pizza dough. I'm going to make up one pizza. I can eat the whole thing, but I definitely won't want any dessert afterwards. Uh, if you had a side dish, then one pizza could easily feed two people. Um, and I only need half of this package of instant yeast. I would have liked to use the other stuff, but this was all I could find. I was lucky to find this. So all of a sudden, people decided they needed a 10-year supply of yeast. And I'm going to use all-purpose flour. If you can find red flour, it might work better for you. Um, you'll need some sugar, salt, and I'm going to put some uh, parsley in with my dough for some extra flavor. So you'll have to do things a bit differently if you have regular yeast. So keep in mind that the way I'm doing it is for instant yeast. I'm going to need one heaping cup of flour. Half of this package is about a teaspoon and a quarter. So I'll just do uh, one heaping teaspoon of it. We'll need one teaspoon of sugar. A pinch of salt and I'm gonna throw some parsley in there let's mix this up next I'm gonna need a quarter plus an eighth of water and it needs to be heated up quarter go a little bit more than an eighth my water is warm I'm gonna mix it in with the flour now and I also need one tablespoon of olive oil. Now we mix. I like to get it started with a fork, then it's uh, less sticky. You don't get such a mess on your hands. Oh yeah, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna get my hands in there now. This is a bit too wet. I'm gonna add some extra flour onto it. Oh yeah, this is looking good. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and make the filling while I'm waiting for the dough. Uh, I'm gonna go with onion, sausage, green olives, and you wanna use crushed tomatoes. This is a 400 milliliter container and this will all fit inside one pizza. You don't need to cook the onions too much. They will cook uh, more when it's inside the slow cooker. Just wanted to soften up a little bit. We're gonna add everything in. So you want to simmer this for a good 15 minutes to remove as much moisture as possible and thicken it up. Well, that should be good enough, so uh, I'm going to set this aside and start getting the crust ready. So you need a pot that's roughly the same shape and size as your uh, crock pot. If you've got an oval crock pot, I'm not sure what you're going to do at this point. Um, but I'm going to line this with some parchment paper. Uh, my parchment paper is rated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, but I'm going to be very careful when I do this step. Okay, that's good. I want to get it as thin as possible in the middle and it will cook easier. Okay, it's all worked into shape. Now I'm just going to very carefully use my cooktop to brown up the bottom of the crust. I'm starting to feel some heat come through it now. I'm cooking it at uh, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just kind of pressing it down because uh, the heat is making it bubble up a bit. I've just been playing with the heat up and down for the last uh, 20 minutes. Uh, the bottom looks like it's cooked through. The consistency has totally changed, but around the outside it's still nice and doughy. Alright, I think the crust is ready to go. Let's take a look. Uh, it's still nice and doughy around the outside. The slow cooker will take care of that. The bottom, perfect. Okay, transfer it into the slow cooker. 
Before I add the filling, I'm going to line the bottom of the crust with some cheese. Okay, let's add the filling. Nice and thick now. Looks so good. Add some more cheese on top of it. Before I turn it on, I'm going to add a couple napkins over top to uh, catch the moisture. Uh, where's the lid? I'm going to cook this for four and a half hours on low. That's it. Now we wait. All right, I've been waiting all day for this. I got a good feeling. Let's take a look. <laughs> How about that? That is a work of beauty. Oh, we did it. We figured it out. Mission successful. And it's everything that I dreamed that it could be. Now I recommend that you go out and try it yourself. I don't think I can finish all this tonight. I'm probably going to call it quits after this slice. And I think that's going to be the end of this video too. So uh, good luck on your pizza making endeavors. And I'll see you in the next video.